to this grid lining up. I'm Jamie McCarthy, joined in commentary by Mark Pedersen, former New Zealand V8 Touring Car champion. A fantastic lineup of Suzuki's on the street circuit here for the ITM 400 weekend. And Mark, it's the first time they've been here. Yeah, and that's why I can't help but think, Jamie, that Angus has such an advantage. He's doing the BNT V8s as well, so he's doing double duties. And he knows his way around. He knows what street courses are about. And you just can't help but think it's going to work in his favour. So wait for all five lights to go out. Race one for the Suzuki Swift Sport Cup from Hamilton. It's a trophy weekend, non-championship. They are underway, and Angus Fogg predictably off the front row. He gets into the first position. Ben Dallas slots into second. This first corner could be very, very interesting on the first lap. Yeah, look, these guys are just feeling their way, and this is the first time they've been here. They've executed the first part of the equation for the weekend. That's getting through turn one. Now we get to turn two, which we normally see the concertina effect. So they've done that out of turn number one towards turn number two here at the Hamilton Street Circuit. Bamba back there in the fourth position under that pressure on the inside. Cody oh, McMaster oh, climbs him up onto two wheels off the curb. And he's collected someone on the way through. We'll have to wait and see. It might have been Alan Dunkley. Fog continues to lead, but Cody McMaster was so close to going over there. I mean, it wasn't for that other car. I pretty actually certainly would have gone right over. And that's the thing, these little cars, you hit the curbs. Unlike the big cars, when you hit the curbs, it absorbs them. These things, it just throws them in the air. So the harder they hit them, the more we're going to see that exciting action. McMaster carrying some damage to the left front corner as they rock through. As you came for the first time, there is the two-time and former series champion for the Suzuki Swift Sport Cup. We're running in the number 83 winger Suzuki. So it looks like it was Alan Dunkley because he's disappeared out of the top four or five cars. So it's Fogg, Dallas right on his back bumper, Bamba and Gibson, your top four with McMaster back there in fifth. Now keep in mind, Ben Dallas, he's just contested the whole championship and done a sterling job, the same with Willie Bamba. Angus, he's got a lot of experience in a lot of different forms of racing, but this is his first time, and it's essentially it's pioneering for him because he doesn't know what these cars are like in racing conditions. So these two young guys, they're going to throw as much weight as they can on Angus, hope they can just put him off his mark a little bit and take that position. Out of turn number eight, it is an eight-lap sprint for race one for the Hamilton Street Challenge for the Suzuki Swifts. There's Dunkley, so he's midfield at the moment. We had 17 cars start the race. Mark Spring was actually missing off the grid lineup, so 17 out there on track. As Dallas pulls to the outside, down into turn number one, that's a hard breaking point, and these little Suzukis uh, are getting up there in the speed down towards turn one. Battles further back. There's Turley. There's Dunkley trying to recover. He's battling there with Hamish Cross with AJ Lauder just in behind. Interesting, Jamie, as they're coming down the front straight there, if you have a look at the backdrop, you'll, you'll see the speed. There's a big radar gun there, and we've seen it 150, 160k from some classes and even more for the big boys. But Angus Fogg, he's the one to watch because no matter what category of racing races around the street circuit, from lap five onwards, the brakes, they just go away. It's not a safety issue. It's just it is a fast, fair circuit. And the cars just use everything up. So. Here's a replay of McMaster. He's got to get high, doesn't it? <laughs> Stunt driving antics from McMaster. And it was Dunkley that collected on the other side. Just wrong time, wrong place for Alan Dunkley as Fogg leads through the chicane on lap number two. Now, the thing about Angus Fogg, too, Mark, is he's got an incredible amount of front-wheel driving experience with many sevens, uh, two-litre touring cars with the Nissans when he was racing back for the Team Kiwi team. So he's got a lot of experience, and he does have some experience in these cars as well. He actually holds the unofficial lap record at the Taupo Motorsport Park in testing. He does, and, of course, Angus' foundation was in these, and I think we said before he contested the Mini World Cup Challenge somewhere. Yeah, I think that was in Belgium and Spa going back a, a few years now as well. So lots of experience in front wheel drive. As the midfield battles, this is Mike Turley. Simon Evans is in the mix here. He's debuting this weekend. This is in the Suzuki's out of the Battery Town Porsche GT3 Cup Challenge. There were a few issues from qualifying. William Bamber was probably the biggest story. The new Suzuki Swift Sport Cup champion. He actually put a hole in a gearbox and they've replaced that overnight. There's Evans going through with Grant Ryan right in behind him in the number 11 machine. Things that remind, that remind ourselves here, again, and I've already alluded to it, is that these guys have all contested the championship on big, wide, flowing New Zealand circuits. This is a street race, and this is something that they've never experienced before, except for Angus. Now, Angus knows in the BNT V8 that when the brakes go away, you start using the gearbox. And once the gearbox starts going a little bit, you start using the engine. So I think from here on in, you're going to see Angus's uh, maturity or experience. When I say maturity, He's actually three times older than some of the other guys in his class. Well, Bramwell King's just 14 years of age, and he's running in the top six here at the moment. What's Angus approaching uh, low 40s? He's going to kill us for telling us, uh, telling everyone that. But, yeah, he's three times the age of Bramwell King, so he's definitely the elder statesman out there. But 
He is showing these uh, younger drivers how to do it here on the street circuit at the moment. Fog again through the chicane. Dallas in second with Bamba in third. So those two were the championship protagonists for the Suzuki Swift Sport Cup this year. Gibson going through. Sam Robinson in shot there. And here's Andrew Vincent. Robinson, a very good job. He's a series rookie this year. Not a lot of motor racing experience. There's Dunkley. Dunkley makes the mistake over the chicane. Oh, oh that's a big hit. Alan Dunkley in the cover staff number 21. He got it wrong at the chicane. He's been in the wars. That is a massive impact with the concrete here at Hamilton. That's what alluded to before, Jamie. These cars, is when they hit those curbs, it just launches them. And where they land, who knows? And unfortunately, in this instance, it was the concrete. But that's the problem. When you come into this corner, let's see replay here. Just ran it into right the yep. over the curb. And when it landed, oh. it just bit on that left front and bang! into the concrete went the cover staff recruitment 21 and a good job behind him to miss them the action here at hamilton with the suzuki swift sport cup continues here's another look at it from the rearward angle i tell you what there was some great avoiding action in behind well the safety car is out don't go away we'll be back with more from the suzuki's